Well, as we mentioned, it is International Women's Day and we are celebrating all midday long. Today we're joined by two upstate artists who recently received grants to help continue some passion projects. And they are joining me now in studio, both Jessica and Zainab. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank of you. Of course. So for starters, tell me a little bit about why you both love art and your kind of passion projects. Well, uh, for me, it's about freedom and a space just for myself to be creative and um, to do what I want, yeah. to be able to create what I want. Absolutely. What about you, Jessica? Yeah, um, I think it's the um, you know creative ability to put a visual to your ideas, and I enjoy kind of making those connections and then um, having people ask questions about you know what it is that I'm thinking, what it is that they're seeing. So. And I know you do photography and sculpting. You're also a sculptor. What are yes. the mediums you guys kind of work with? I work predominantly with clay, metal, okay. and wood. And of course, I ex experiment once in a while, but those are my mediums. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I work with um, film photography mostly. And with sculpture, I work with like silicone or like found materials um, and a lot of stitching and thread. Awesome. Very yeah. exciting. And you both received the Emerging Artist Grant from the South Carolina Arts Commission. What was your reaction to learning you guys were going to get that funding? Oh, it was, it was so exciting. I was so happy because it's, it's not about getting a grant, but it's, it, I, for me, it's all about, you know, being acknowledged as an artist in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And since I moved to South Carolina, uh, South Carolina provided me with a lot of opportunities, and I'm grateful for this one. Absolutely. What about you, Jessica? Yeah, I was really surprised, but super grateful too, because this grant allowed me to start a new body of work. Um, and coming out of grad school, I um, really found comfort in that support and then also accountability and community that we get with getting to know other artists and um, getting to talk with um, the Arts Commission and just make connections with each other. Absolutely. The grant kind of bringing you guys together. Do you want to walk me through some of your pieces of art that you actually brought in studio? Yeah, sure. Um, these pieces are from my uh, continuous collections, and this is one of my pieces from the Love Collection. It's created with clay, fired in the kiln, and then glazed. And this is a ballerina, uh, ballerina collection. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. These are my gents, uh, and this is another um, Love uh, sculpture. And um, I try to um, deliver emotions in everything I create. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I j these, are, these are pieces from my continuous collections. Very cool. And Jessica, walk me through some of yours. Yeah, these are mostly new pieces that I've been able to make like with the um, grant funding. And so these are all new, um, except for this guy. This one is a cow tongue that was cast in silicone. But I'm really interested in casting like bark um, from trees and then like reattaching it um, to maybe like dead limbs. And so kind of talking about that difference between like what is something that is natural and then what is something that is synthetic as a way to talk about humans and technology. Yeah. And so then I've also been making these little creatures with um, both synthetic and natural materials. They're all kind of like, you know, amorphous, um, but they have silicone, they're made of like human hair, and then also squirrel bones right now. Oh, so. surprising me there. Yeah. And Zainab, <laughs> we were talking a little bit before, and you were saying you haven't actually met that many female sculptors in your time here in South Carolina, so I love having yeah. two of you guys here. Walk me through maybe your plans for the future or goals for the future. Okay. Um, well, um, this this is a clay clay country state, but um, I haven't met a lot of uh, sculptors that work with clay uh, in South Carolina, especially figurative sculpting. And um, uh, figurative sculpting is something on its own in terms of the mediums it uses and um, the creative process. Uh, my proposal for the grant was about women empowerment and in equality, uh, so uh, it's, it's special for me to be here today with that respect as well. And for the future, uh, my, one of my goals is to, uh, to be able to present my sculptures in an event, in a non-profit space. And uh, after the grant, I got an invitation about this from USC uh, in Aiken, in the Etheridge Gallery. And I'm really uh, proud and honored about that. Absolutely. Future That's goals awesome. for you, Jessica. 
Um, right now I'm working on building new work and then also building a collective that I helped to found, which is also made up of two other women artists right now. Um, it's called <laughs> Zero Space Collective and Brooke Day and Lauren Bradshaw are two other artists in it. And so we're kind of working to make space for underrepresented artists as a way to kind of like make space for our own art. Um, it came out of like the COVID pandemic and not really having any physical space to show work. And so mm. we want to kind of expand beyond that and have physical exhibitions, invite other artists to be a part and um, yeah, just make space for artists who might not always be represented as equally. Both some great goals there. We cannot wait to cheer you guys on. Thank you so much for joining us today. And to see more of Jessica and Zainab's work, you can head to foxcarolina.com.